shit is like not. Got him. Okay, Cole, what's in your football bag, bro? Like, what you got in this bag or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about it. Stop being nosy. Mind your damn business. What's good, certified gang? It's your boy, Keiko, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to more than football, baby. This is football from a semi-pro football player's perspective. I know a lot of y'all probably be watching me like, bro, Keiko got to be off of some type of drug. Like, what's wrong with this dude? I don't know. I just have a lot of energy. I be hyped. Welcome back to another video. I hope each and every one of y'all are having a great day. And if not, I hope this video can change that. I've been getting a lot of comments on my videos, a lot of DMs on Instagram. A lot of y'all been asking me, a lot of y'all been asking me to do this video, man. What's in my football bag, okay? I've seen a lot of other football YouTubers do this, but Keiko Baby hasn't done this. The reason it took me so long to get this video together is because right now, I'm not in season, you know what I'm saying? Actually, a lot of us are not in season right now, so I don't have like, my shoulder pads, my helmet, and everything in my bag and stuff like that. So I decided to give this a little bit of a twist. Yes, I'm gonna do what's in my football bag. We're gonna do what's in my football bag off-season edition. I'm gonna show you some things that are in my bag that I use for my off-season to work out. I'm gonna give y'all some suggestions as well on what you should have in your football bag during the off-season. And then once my season pops around in January, we'll do another what's in my football bag, but that will be like during the season, you feel me? I'll have more stuff then. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me on IG, we're almost to 50K, let's get it, man. What's in my football bag off season edition? Yes, sir! Now the first thing I wanna do is examine my bag. Let me get my bag situated, you feel me? This is my off season bag right here. As you can see, it says Hoosiers on the front. Now, if you're from Indiana, you know where Indiana University is. You know all about the Hoosiers. If you're from Indiana, you're a Hoosier, you feel me? I had to pay homage to where I'm from. I forget when I got this bag, bro, but I got it sometime uh, when I was living over in Indiana, man. As y'all know, that's where I'm from. So this is my off season bag, and I pretty much bring this bag, you know, every time I work out. Sometimes I just wear a backpack but I'm gonna start using this more. Now the first thing I'm gonna show y'all that I usually carry in my bag is this right here. This weight vest, bro. This is usually in my bag, but I didn't wanna put it in my bag because it would make it too heavy right now. But I usually put this in my bag, and honestly, I need a good more use out of this weight vest, but this is a 20 pound weight vest, man. It'd be good for them workouts, you know, when you're running up them hills and whatnot. Get you real, real strong, baby. Stop playing with them, you feel me? But this is the first thing that I carry in my bag. This isn't something that you guys gotta have in your bag at all. If you don't feel like having a weight vest, this is kind of just more like a personal preference. Um, but weight vests are really, really good if you really wanna work on you know, getting your body stronger, uh, running faster and different things like that. So yes, the first thing is this weight vest. All right, now we are gonna get to the actual bag itself and let's open it up, man. And I don't know, if this happens when you open your football bag, but yeah, it smells like football for sure. Now the first thing that I wanna show you guys that I have in this bag is a couple of my workout attire. I feel like every football player should carry extra workout attire inside their bag. Right here, this is a, a Nike like fleece jacket right here. It's very, very lightweight. I like to work out in it because it really feels like you're wearing nothing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll include a couple pictures of me wearing this doing workouts, but I really like using this jacket just because, like I said, it's lightweight and it, it lets you sweat a little bit. You still do some stuff. The next workout attire I got in this bag is a workout shirt, compression shirt right here. This is green, uh, Jordan brand. Uh, I bought this for like, I, I wanna say like $7 at the Nike clearance, but uh, I think it's inside out right now. But anyways, yeah, I wear this to work out in sometimes. Um, you don't have to have Jordan brand, you don't have to have Nike, but I do believe in your bag you should have some type of workout attire inside, you feel me? Separate from the one that you're already wearing, because you just never know when you want to change clothes. Some people don't like having sweaty shirts and different things like that. Um, so those are two things that I carry in my bag at all times. The next thing I got in my bag right here, this is a little hydro flash, you feel me? I didn't really get into the hydro flash wave until my mama put me on, but this is a hydro flash, man. Put your water in this, I promise you it'll stay cold forever, baby. Cold forever, you feel me? Um, you don't have to have a hydro flask, but I like to put this in there when I'm uh, going to work out and stuff. Just carry it in there. Just make sure your top is on so it don't spill and anything like that, or you can just carry it by hand. But uh, the hydro flask, yeah, 
you can get these i don't know how cheap you can get them for i know some of them get expensive and stuff but yeah man hydro flat something random that i have in my bag this was uh from last season right here this is a shock visor right here um i had to cut the top because it would not fit in my shut f7 um but this is a shock visor right here shock if you're watching this right now bro let's work out something when the season come on you feel me but this is just one uh visor that i had i'll, I'll show y'all a picture um, of me wearing this visor last season during semi pro. This one right here is the shot clear mirror. I don't know if it's the 1.0 or 2.0, um, but it served me well. I had to take it out one game because it was raining real bad and it was starting to fog up and everything like that. So I took it off one game and then I just never put it back on, but it's kind of scratched up and everything like that. But a visor is something that you don't have to have during the off season, but I just wanted to show you I was in my bag. The next thing in my football bag during the off season is cones, man. You gotta have your cones. Um, I would have a ladder in here. I don't have a ladder at the moment, but cones and ladders is something that should be in your football bag during the season, during the off season as well. You just never know. I like these little flat cones right here because these are the type of cones that you can step on and they don't really get messed up too bad. Like the other cones that are tall, you step on those jaws and it's over. You shouldn't be stepping on the cones anyway, but I'm just saying, I like these a lot better. You can find these cheap as hell, I think. Um, I forget how much I bought these for, but I know for sure these are not really, really expensive. Um, but I got probably like, I wanna say, I wanna say 50 of these cones. This is just some of them I have that I carry with me. You gotta realize during your off season, you're, you're not really spending a lot of time like using a lot of equipment. You're mainly going to workouts, you're mainly going to field workouts, different things like that. So you don't really need a whole bunch of equipment with you during the off season and everything like that. Next thing I have in my football bag is obviously some cleats, baby. Obviously some cleats. Now these right here are the Vapor 360s. Y'all know this is the first cleat that I picked up on this channel and did a review on. I need to start doing more cleat reviews and field tests and everything like that. But uh, this is the main cleat I go to right now when I'm working out is the Vapor 360s. I got two pairs of these, the exact pair, one in the 10 and a half, one in 11, uh, just because sometimes I like how the 10 and a half feels and I always wanna just have my true size as well. So when my season comes around, I'll probably be using these for practice and everything like that. But the Vapor 360s, I really mess with those. Let me show y'all some of the other cleats I carry. Here's my other pair of 360s right here. Um, I got me some Adi Zero 8.0s right here, man. These right here, I used these during the season last year. And honestly, I really, really liked how these feel. The 9.0s, bro, when I tried those on, bro, those were super, super tight. But these right here, the 8.0s, I put these on, this is my true size, and these feel so light on my feet. It feels good cutting and everything like that. Um, I'll probably give me a few more pair of these for the season and everything like that, but uh, this was my first time really using Adidas when I got these. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy these cleats right here, the Adi Zero 8.0s. Right here, I got some uh, Vapor Carbons. I forget what year these came out, but these are some Vapor Carbon Jones. Like, uh, this is like a navy blue and a white color. I forget where exactly I found these. I feel like me and my dad, we was in uh, Dick's one day and then they had these like on sale for like 20 bucks or something crazy like that. But these are in a size 11 and a half. I don't really use these at all. I've only used these like a couple times when I didn't have any other cleat to use. Um, but I always keep them in my bag just in case because you just never know if a teammate needs cleats or you feel me, somebody comes and just need cleats. I, I give them these, give me. The next cleats that I got in my football bag for the off season are these uh, Nike Untouchable 2s right here. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. I do not like these cleats at all. Like, I do not like wearing these. I did not like practicing in these at all. Uh, they would really, really bother my feet, bro. And also, they just felt very, very heavy. You know what I'm saying? But I used them for what they were, practice cleats. Um, but they all right. Some people like these. Let me know if you like the Untouchable 2s down below. I like the Untouchable 3s a lot better. The 2s was really not the way if I like the 1s. Um, but yeah, I used to use these in practice. The next thing in my football bag for the off season is this right here. Now, a lot of y'all may look at this and be like, what is this, bro? This is KT tape, okay? Now, this is like tape that you put around like muscles that are maybe like pulled or like sore or just different things like that. And you wrap it around it or wrap it around the area and it's supposed to help like constrict it. You know what I'm saying? This is like, you can use this instead of like a, a knee brace. Now, 
Me personally, if my knee's hurting, I still would want to use a knee brace. But I see some people just put this on for sore muscles and things that they want to keep like compressed and everything like that. But KT tape, I forget how much I pay. I feel like KT tape is low key expensive, but I could be wrong. Um, another thing that I would usually keep in my football bag is some battle turf tape. But like I said, it's off season right now, so I'm not really going to be putting on turf tape or spatting up or anything like that. But KT tape is something good that you guys can have if you want to substitute it for a brace, you feel me? The last thing that I have in my bag is gloves, man. You have to have some gloves in your bag, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know there's some players that don't mess with gloves at all, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. Football has changed to the way where if you see a player with no gloves, you automatically think he's a monster. You automatically think he's not good, you feel me? Which ain't the case, but I feel like everybody should have a pair of gloves in here. These gloves specifically right here, I got some red cutters, and then I got two pairs of some black cutters. I think I actually got three pairs of these black cutters, man. One thing that I'm starting to learn about cutters, man, is that they lose their grip. It'd be like one to three uses, bro, and then my, my gloves already done lost their grip, you know what I'm saying? But I like these gloves because I don't like big branding on gloves, so I just like these. And even if you're a lineman, D-lineman, whatever, they still got gloves pertaining to y'all position as well. Um, but gloves is something that I always carry in my football bag to go out to the field, catch the ball, and do different things like that. I think that's it, man. I mean, I got a quarter. I got a quarter left in my, my football bag. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it for what's in my football bag off-season edition. Let me know what you carry in your bag during the off-season because I'm interested in seeing what other players carry, what's important to them, what's not important to them. And just because you see me carry certain stuff in my bag doesn't mean you guys have to have it. If you don't have the money to have four, five pairs of cleats, uh, four, five pairs of gloves and different things like that, bro, all you need is a pair of cleats, something to work out in, football, maybe some gloves and some cones, bro. You can really get simple with it. It don't even got to be an extravagant bag, like I said, man. Probably during my season, I'll probably end up getting a bigger bag than this to fit my pads and everything in there, but... It don't gotta be nothing crazy. I know a lot of y'all probably like, bro, how you gonna have a football bag with no football in it? I got a football, but it's just in a car. A football is another thing that pretty much should go in your football bag. But a lot of times when I go work out with people, they already got balls and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on IG, we're on the road to 50K. I love y'all so much. And yes, I'm out, baby!